Okay, uh, your lesson for today is, uh, for tonight, is 9-1, graphing functions. We're graphing functions, and that is very similar to graphing linear equations. So here's your vocabulary. Um, you can see at the top it says it's very similar to linear equations. It's only, I mean, it is exactly like it, but it's slightly different, and the two differences are these two vocabulary words, discrete and continuous, okay? These two words are very important, discrete and continuous, okay? Now, discrete graph is basically exactly what it says. It's made up of discrete points. Notice that all the points here are separate points. They're not connected with a line, and that's what it means to be discrete, okay? For the second uh, word, continuous, uh, that could be a graph or it could just be a function. It's the same with dis discrete. It could be a discrete function or graph. Um, it's just made up of connected lines or curves. Um, so in this example down here, you see that the line is connected. It's never, it never has a break in it. It continues the whole time. It's continuous. Okay. So this is very important um, to notice in the context of a problem. Okay. So I want you to think about context of the problem when it comes to word problems and whether or not something is discrete or not. Okay. When you're talking about heart rate heart rate and time, your heart rate doesn't stop, so it doesn't have um, discrete points, so it's continuous. In the case of the first example with people in years, uh, theme, theme park attendance, okay, people in years, that's very discrete. You either have 307 people or 412 people, but you don't have uh, 407.3 people, okay, so you have a exact number it's uh, what we call discrete okay so our two examples are uh, going to be basically using that so this first example is um, we're graphing each function okay for a given domain this is very important that you notice the given domain this is the given domain the domain for this problem is negative four negative two zero and two so we're going to use this Use these for x. Okay. We're going to use those numbers, the domain for x. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is this. This is step one, and you can see it solved out for you. But basically, we just solve the equation for y, and we get this equation: y equals one half x plus three. Okay. You don't have to do that. You can just watch it and see that it's solved out. Okay, step two, once we do that, is I'm going to plug in, I'm going to plug in specifically the domains that are given. So notice that the domain over here is negative four, negative two, zero, and two. Okay, once I plug in those, I get my x, y coordinate point for each one of them, negative four, one, negative two, two, zero, three, and two, four. And once I get those, I can plug them into the graph, which is over to the right. Okay, now you see on this graph, it has uh, specific points, right? It has the points, right? And we are not going to connect these points because the the if we were to connect them, that would imply that would imply that all the points between them are also solutions, but they are not because we did not include those in our domain. So here, this this that's shown to you right now, this is the answer. Right? We don't connect those points. This is a discrete function. Okay? It's a discrete function and it's over a specific domain. Okay, it's a, over a, what we say is a given domain. Okay? Our next example, um, it says graph each function and for this one, um, I'm going to it doesn't specify a domain. Okay, it does not specify a domain, so we use, so our domain here is all real numbers. I'm going to use that symbol R for our all real numbers, okay? And then here is step one. We're going to choose several values for X, okay? Since it doesn't give us a domain, we're just going to choose values for X. We choose negative three to positive three just because that shows us a good range and good spread of the data. You do not have to do all of those numbers, but it's helpful, obviously, to get more points that are going to be on the line. Okay? You can see over there to the right. Okay? Once we get these points, 
you can see that it's going to make these red points, these red dots on the right. And on this example, we are going to connect it with the line. Why? We connect it with the line this time because it tells us it doesn't specify a domain, so we're going to use everything. That means that it's a continuous function. Okay? And that's what it basically says in this sentence right here. It says that we're going to draw a line through it um, to show that all the ordered pairs that satisfy the function. So anything that's on that line going forever, forever because of that arrow, and forever because of that arrow, all of those points will be solutions to this function. Okay? Whereas the other one, they were not solutions because they were not specified in the domain. So this one is what we say as continuous. A continuous function. Okay, so the first one was the street, and this one is continuous, and that's really the only thing that you need to know for your homework tonight.